Well, we are here today at Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles of Chambersburg. It's been a while since we were here the last time. And we are going to head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. I love coming here because oftentimes the prices are better than thrift store prices. So let's head in and see what we can find. Here we go. All right, well, it looks like some rearranging has happened here in this booth. The last time they didn't have these giant bookshelves here, so that is promising. New bookshelves means there's probably new stuff. And I am actually noticing a lot of these hand-painted canning jars. Churchtown. Churchtown? I have a friend who lives in Churchtown, but I don't know of any mills in Churchtown, so I'm, not, I'm never really sure about that. And this over here would normally be considered stemless daisy, however, there is a stem on it, so I'm not really sure about that. I think this is a muffiner, muffineer for powdered sugar. But it's definitely got some each to it, and it's $5, 20% off. I think we are going to place it in the cart. Let's see what else we can find. I've got some more of these painted canning jars up here. I really do like these, but I'm just not sure what the resale value on these would be, unfortunately. They are signed, Zimmerman. Now this up here, I really, I really dig in this lamp. I believe that it could be Korean. I might be wrong, but it is $169.95, but it is just absolutely stunning. I love it so much. I kind of want to know what it looks like plugged in, but, um, that lamp is absolutely beautiful. Look at the dragon up here. I think we looked at this the last time we were here. This is a rare Boscal peanut butter jar. Usually the Boscal peanut butter jars have florals on them. So seeing one with a cowboy is different. Um, and I'm just not sure about that. Look at this, this is beautiful. I like this. <laughs> this is a dollar fifty. And the enamel on that is just absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if that would be a drinking glass or if that would be a vase. But it does look like at one point it had gold around the rim that has worn off. I do like that. I think we'll take that for a dollar fifty. I mean, we can't even get prices that good at Goodwill these days. Not seeing much else in here. Maybe this little bird down here. Let's check this out. I see birds. I say, like, how did you spot that? Well, you know, I just like kind of zeroed right in on the birds. This is a lid. This is a lid, probably to a um powder dish, maybe? Well, unfortunately, all we have is the lid. So that's disappointing. I don't see anything that looks like the dish here. I am looking, I am looking. Oh, I like the looks of that ashtray over there. Let's check that out. I think I'm gonna pass on this because it's a lid and we don't have the rest of it. it. Although, I will say, it does kind of have the quality of, well, I was gonna say it could maybe be Lalique, but that would be crazy, right? All right, let's look at this ashtray that I just noticed down here. That's really interesting. I like the shape of it. interesting the way it's cut it's only a dollar it's a dollar 
feel like I will I will do that for a dollar. I was gonna pass on it, but for a dollar, I can't say no to a dollar. Those are radishes. I wasn't sure what those were, I had to check. Uh, one thing I did notice though was down here, where was it? It wasn't that far down, oh, right here. There is a dresser dish. And even though it's not the right dresser dish, I'm wondering if the lid would fit on that. Oh, it does. Look at that. I mean, it's married. It's not supposed to go on that, but um, the other one I saw was back here. No, that doesn't fit. So I could actually pair these together. This is so this elephant is two ninety five, and the birds are six ninety five. They're not intended to go together, but the lid fits tightly. I might do that. I might, I might actually do that and then hold on to it and not resell it just because I love it so much. I could put my rings and my jewelry in there. I don't know. I say that now, but then I get it home and I'm like, I have too much stuff. I should sell this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's do it. Let's give it a shot. And while I was nailing down, I noticed this, which I just threw on <laughs> the price tag on the floor. It looks like Norco Pit. I don't know what that is. What does this tag say? check dish. That's what this is. This is a check dish. And it's $2.50. It's that yellow luster with the blue. Because now I'm a sucker for check pottery. And for only $2, here we go. I do like this, although I'm not seeing a price on it, which is a little disappointing. No price. I just, it kind of glows a little bit. I don't think that it would glow. You know what? I think I have a black light. Well, I bought this the other day. It does not glow. What is that down here? Let's get a closer look at that glass. It almost looks like it was two colors when it was in there, in there, but it's not. It's just cobalt. It is Canada. A little Queensway, it looks like. Wow, look at this. I could get that for my sister. <laughs> Fortunately, there is some damage on those little shoes. Little salts here. Oh, look at the fox. Fox print. I don't think that's a print. I think that's an original painting. And I like it. You know, I like fox. Foxes. Fox. Yeah, foxes. <laughs> we like him. Except for the fact that he's got a rabbit in his mouth. I still like him. Hmm. Lucite clock. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on there. It doesn't look like there are any new salt and peppers since the last time we raided the salt and pepper collection. They look about the same. I do think that this is really cool up here. The price on it is $299, though, and 95 cents, and I don't think they're ever going to be able to touch that. 
but that is really neat. Super cool. I have some carnival over here, but I honestly just bought probably a thousand dollars worth of carnival glass that Andrew was picking up from the auction today. So really, I don't need any more carnival glass <laughs> until I sell through that carnival glass. So um, this is a good price, but I'm passing on it because I have enough in inventory right now. So a lot of the times you'll see me pass on stuff and it's because I have too much inventory. You see the rose medallion this is the ACF mark this is like 1960s 1970s this is Rose Canton because there are no people on it I usually think of can't the negative without people it's kind of how I make it work I like this one a little bit more it is marked made in Japan which would mean it was post-1914, because 1914 is the year they started putting made in. Before that, they could just put Japan. But, I really, I can't, I'm kind of digging that one. It appears to have a little bit more age than the others that are marked ACF. So I'm going to grab this dinner plate. However, there is a chip there. So maybe not. So these shelves over here usually have lots of toys, but there's sometimes glassware and other pieces on here, so I do like to look. That's really pretty. That's $2.95 and made by, I can't read that, something. <laughs> Whatever their name is, they did a very nice job. I like it. We will take it for $2.95. and cents. Nice little trinket dish. All right, over here, kind of zeroing in on these birds. The birds are $3.95. They are made in Japan. We do pretty well with bird figurines in general. The cat. Distracted by the cat. The cat is redware. The cat is $2.95. I like the cat. <laughs> the cat for $2.95. Finding pieces like this for $2.95 is always fantastic because it brings our cost average down when we find those big pieces that we like to take chances on. All right, I am noticing this Scotty dog up here, but he does have a boo-boo on his ear, unfortunately. This hen is really fun. This is $49.95, however, and I'm just not very confident with toys. I don't know very much about them, so I usually avoid them. Apothecary jar. What is that down there? Oh, I thought maybe that was a German figurine. It's not. as those are and they are a good price as well I would be afraid to ship those and I feel like at 950 if I was to put them in my booth any higher than that they would just sit and I'm not a fan of stuff sitting I like to move stuff along
like that table. It's only 135 too. That's a good price on that. Murataki. I was actually not expecting that. Look at that. The feet. It's beautiful. What is the price on that? Look at me looking at furniture like that's gonna happen. Looks like that is three twenty-five on the cabinet. Oh, it's beautiful. We've actually uh, picked some Fenton out of here in the past. Did pretty well with it. I like this slag glass terrier. He's pretty neat. Bone China. Honestly. I like this dish. Five dollars for the decorative trinket dish. I do like the, the flowers and the cobalt on that. It's a cute little trinket dish. And it's just the right size. It's easy to ship. I think maybe we'll do five dollars on that. And this booth is 20% off as well. Hello, what are you? $17. Oh, it's a shame it's got a chip there. Is that a chip or is that a manufacturer's? No, unfortunately that is a chip. Look what the marking is on that. I mean, one of them is in good shape. And again, this is 20% off. I do like those. Kind of remind me of calla lilies. I don't know though. I'm not sure about the markings on those. I might pass on them. Well, I think I am going to end this video right here and split this into a two-parter so you guys are gonna have to tune in tomorrow for part two but I hope you enjoyed part one and I will see you all tomorrow thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video in case you spotted something you just can't live without we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description